Hi everyone, I'm JD from We My Bound Journals. Welcome back to my channel. I am a journaler, journal maker, and teacher of journaling courses. And today we are up to day 11 for the inspiration journal course, where I show how I put together this collage art journal that was just so, so fun to make. And the collage prompt today is photo. So you can see on my desk here, I have this large printout of a photo of my cat, Keanu, my beautiful black cat with green eyes. He is adorable. He is now three years old and he makes appearances on my channel every now and then. So you've probably seen him if you've followed me for a while over here on YouTube. And I just like this idea of printing out a large photo of him, cutting it out and then doing a background page behind his photo. Um, one day he laid down on my desk and because my desk is white he showed up really nicely on top of my desk and it looked like he was doing a photo shoot like just the positions he was lying in <laughs> it was just amazing so I, I took quite a few photos of him lying on my desk with his head in different positions and um, yeah his eyes just looked beautiful in the photos so I just chose one of those to include on this page and I am just putting down some washi tape down the middle of the spine um, and I use this green washi tape to match the green color of his eyes. They're kind of a greeny yellow color um, and depending on the light it can look more green um, in certain light. So love 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 my black cat Keanu. Um, I also grab another photo of him from that photo shoot <laughs> called a photo shoot where he's looking up and away, which is just adorable. And his eyes show up really nicely in that photo. Um, so these are photos that I took last year. So a little while ago, um, I was saying that I wanted to keep this journal a bit more up to date um, with photos from this year, pho recent photos so that I could document where I am right now. Um, but the reason I wanted to go with these photos is because I was inspired by this idea of yeah, cutting out sort of their silhouette of an animal. Um, I saw this painting by Sabrina Ward Harrison where she had this silhouette of a horse and it was mostly just the horse's head. Um, and on the background, I think it was paint, just like this rainbow paint. And I'm not even sure if she did the painting, but she was showing the painting, pretty sure she did it. Um, and it looked like, yeah, a photo of a horse. And then the background was just all this rainbow paint. And I thought, that's really cool. So I practiced myself um, being inspired by that, printing out photos of Keanu and using him to be this focal point with a background of uh, rainbow. So I've done some watercolor um, backgrounds and played around with that. But for this page, yeah, I took that idea, took that inspiration for the inspiration journal. Um, and this time I'm using this beautiful background paper that came from a Daphne's Diary magazine. So I use a lot of Daphne's Diary in my journals. They just have wonderful pages and I love using the pictures and the words in the magazine as journaling prompts. So I always knew when I pulled out this particular page with all the cats that I would use this for my own personal journaling to do a page spread about Keanu. And so I've had this page for a while and now is the time to use it in my inspiration journal. Um, and yeah, that provides a lovely background, really, really cute. I don't really have to add much more to this page because I've got my really large photo centerpiece. I've got my background. Then all I needed to do was find something to fill in the gaps. And so what I did for that was I looked through my cat folder. I have a little folder where I keep all my cat photos and all my cat ephemera, so cards, stickers, uh, bookmarks, uh, whatever little photos, images from magazines that I cut out, anything cat related that I think I would want to use to decorate pages to do with Keanu, I put into that folder so it's all in one place and I've got quite a lot of um, different cat items. Um, I think it was three years ago now that I did a cat challenge where I made myself a cat journal to record Keanu's uh, first year of his life 
and lots of you guys, some of my beautiful subscribers sent in some cat goodies to use in that cat journal. So after making that journal and finishing it, I still had quite a lot of uh, cat pieces or ephemera papers, pictures left over. And I, of course, I've been adding to that as well. Anytime I see a cat picture or anytime I see something cat related, I'll just put it into that folder. And so that's nice, just having this stash that I can use because I'm always constantly <laughs> journaling about my cat. Um, so yeah, that's fun to just turn to that folder, flip through the uh, pockets and look for something that will enhance my page. Um, so yeah, you'll see me pull that out a bit later on. Um, and what I pull out from that is this piece of ephemera. So I kind of wanted to include something from my real life um, to do with my cat and what I got was this page from the scratching tree that I got from him I bought it off eBay and so it arrived in a box and it came with this instruction sheet and so I always knew that I would keep that instruction sheet to document um, yeah my cat again and <laughs> that memory and yeah I got that ages ago now like two years ago maybe and I hadn't done anything with that instruction sheet for ages. So again, today, or this day that I journaled was the day. And I, yeah, just cut it up so that that could fill in some of those gaps. And I love it. I love the contrast as black and white illustrations or diagrams. So I like that balancing out because it's quite a busy page with all of those cats on the uh, Daphne's Diary magazine page. And I like that. What, for me, I just like that it is something from my yeah actual life that I'm putting onto the page that is a memory right there. I don't even have to write about, oh, this day I bought him a scratching tree, blah, 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 blah. I can just see that page on my in, inside my journal. And as soon as I see it, I can remember that. I can remember the whole story of how because um, my cat is an indoor cat and so I was worried that he might get bored or might get depressed being indoors all the time and so one of the things that I bought for him to help with that was a scratching tree and yeah because I was new to having cats I didn't know if he would like it or anything um, but as soon as I got it and put it together uh, he loved it he was playing around with it jumping from level to level there's four levels and he was climbing it like a possum and jumping from level to level and he especially loved the top bed and he still loves that top bed that's his favorite spot he sleeps in that bed pretty much all day and all night um so he just fell in love with that scratching tree and I was just so glad and happy that I got it for him and yeah so that memory there and the other thing that I did to help with um combating any boredom or depression that he might have being an indoor cat was I got him a harness and yeah I'd never seen a cat with a leash before um, but I got him a harness and uh, put it on him when he was quite young still so that he could get used to it and yeah now he absolutely looks forward to his walks outside if I just say the word walk he knows or if I say the word outside he knows um, and he waits at the door for me and he waits there for me to put on his harness and he's just so yeah good with his harness and he's such a good walker um, and we'll just do a little walk around the house and then he's fine once I bring him back in he's happy to have a sleep have a little nap after his little adventure outside so those two things were two of the best things I ever bought him because um, yeah he loves his walks and he loves his scratching tree so um, yeah I definitely recommend them <laughs> definitely definitely recommend them he's got a little tartan harness a red tartan harness which looks so cute on his black fur <laughs> and um yeah while I'm putting this page spread together let me just chat about the story of Keanu for those who might be new to my channel um, I do have a video of him when he was just a little kitten uh, I think it was the pretty much the first week that I got him and sometimes when I just need to have a cute moment <laughs> a pick-me-up moment I will watch that video of him when he was tiny when he just fit into my hand um, and that's where I tell the whole story of how I got him but basically yeah I was always a dog person still am 
um, and so I never really knew how to look after a cat. I never thought I would have a cat, um, but my friend, she was working at the school, the high school here, the local, there's only one high school in, in Bowen, a small town, um, and she walked into a shed one day at the school and found four kittens. Well, there were actually five. There were four grey tabbies, all females, and there was one black male. And all of the tabbies she found homes with, um, most of the teachers took home one of the black tabbies. And then she just had one, um, the grey tabby, sorry, and then she had just one black cat left over, the little male. And she asked me, she sent me a photo and said, would you like this cat? And um, yeah, I... Yeah, the black cat that sold me because my auntie, when I was a kid, had a black cat. She had two cats, actually. One called Mischief, which was a tabby, and one called Keanu, which was a black cat. But it was a female, so we called her Kiki for short. And I loved Kiki. Whenever we went to her house, I just adored Kiki. Uh, and so that's that reminded me of Keanu, her Keanu. And then this is the only reason why Keanu's name is Keanu, because of that black cat connection. And if he was a girl, I don't think I would have called him Keanu because it would be too similar. I didn't want another Kiki, um, keep the original Kiki. But since he was a male, I thought it fit. Black cat Keanu. Um, and I was going to call him Keo for short, which means exquisite and precious. And I thought that was really fitting. But as soon as I got him, it... I just knew he was a Keanu and I never called him Keo ever, <laughs> ever since. <laughs> um, so it's not Keo anymore. It's definitely Keanu and I absolutely love him. He's just been such a joy in my life. Just so random how he came into my life, you know, that story. But I like this idea that, you know, he was abandoned, found abandoned in a shed um, and he was the last one left over and I can kind of relate to him. I was always feeling like I was the outcast, the one left out the one left over you know when in school they pick teams for your sport teams and they have two captains and they alternate choosing people to go on the team and I was always yeah one of the last people to be chosen <laughs> so that kind of connected me to Keanu that he was the last one to be chosen um so I feel like I really relate to him <laughs> and connect with him um and yeah I often think about if he's happy because um yeah I just wonder you know are you happy Keanu are you happy I hope you're happy and then I think about um the alternative that he could have had such a different life being abandoned in that shed um he could have grown up wild just roaming the streets or he could have even not made it so I think oh well you've had a pretty good life <laughs> he is definitely spoiled um I definitely dote on him and I definitely adore him and try my best to look after him um, the best that I can and give him a good life and give him a happy life. And yeah, every day I tell him I love him, <laughs> my beautiful cat, and give him cuddles and kisses. And yeah, I love it when he sleeps on my bed. He sleeps on my bed every night at the moment because it's um, cooler nights here. And so I love it when yeah, I'm just lying in bed and he will, I'll feel him crawl up along my side and he will um, kind of lean into my leg or lean into my hip or he'll just lean into my side and curl up next to my side and it just feels so nice having that warm little lump <laughs> next to me. Um, and I love his visits. He often in the mornings when he knows I'm awake, he will crawl onto my chest and um, purr on my chest and he always headbutts me so he puts his forehead onto my chin and he'll just rest there like that <laughs> so cute and then he'll flop over and curl up in my arm and sometimes he'll sleep in my arm which is really lovely so yeah love my beautiful black cat Keanu um, so yeah that's the story of how I got him and how he got the name Keanu and yeah, he was only about five weeks old when I got him. So he was absolutely tiny. Like when I saw him, he was so much smaller than I was expecting. And I became really afraid because I'm like, oh my gosh, he's so small. How am I supposed to look after something so small? Um, he was still drinking milk back then. So I, I had to get him lactose free milk. Um, and he could hardly even stand. Like he kept... Um, 
falling over <laughs> and oh my gosh the first time I fed him wet food because he didn't have the strength in his legs yet he I had to put his food on a container lid because um, he couldn't lift his head over the top of the rim of a bowl yet um, and he just kind of dunked his head in the food because <laughs> he couldn't hold himself up his head just went face first into the food and then he literally just crawled on his belly into the food and I'm like oh my gosh what are you doing <laughs> and then he crawled all over my floor smearing his food covered belly all over my floor and so the first couple of days it was a little bit of a learning curve and yeah the first couple of days I'm like why did I get a cat what have I done because all I could see ahead of me was the days and days of cleaning the cleaning the cleaning and the cleaning because he wasn't toilet trained at that point yet either and so food feeding was a mess him going to the toilet was a mess I had to clean him clean his whole belly clean my floor <laughs> and yeah I was just like well, what have I got myself into <laughs> but he learned he grew up so quickly as I always do at that age and um he learned very quickly and built up his strength and could hold himself up to eat his food and toilet trained pretty quickly um and I'll never forget this um my first favorite memory from him um well one of the first favorite memories was actually when the lady she came over and dropped him off and gave him to me and she put him into my hands and I just held him against my chest and thinking how small he was and he looked up at me and he stared into my eyes and he, it was kind of like who are you <laughs> and this bonding moment of oh so you're my new owner because you just yeah I was looking down at him and he was looking up at me and like we held that stare for quite a while he didn't just look at me and then look away he was like really looking intently at me and I just felt like oh this is our bonding moment where he's like hello I'm your new owner <laughs> but yeah later on that night um I was trying to toilet train him show him where his litter box was litter tray was and um placed him in his litter tray and then I went over to my bed um lay down on my bed just watching him because the ensuite like from my bed into the ensuite I had a clear view into there so I was just watching him um sitting in his litter tray and then I sneezed <laughs> and he freaked out he meowed and he kind of fell out of the tray like he did a little jump because he was scared and um, fell out of his tray or not necessarily fell out of the tray but he fell over with fright <laughs> so cute but he meowed and and ran straight to me like he got out of his tray and like it's quite a distance from the on, on suite to my bed and he ran straight to me and into my arms and I was like good boy Keanu good boy that's it whenever you're scared you run to me you come and I'll come and hold you and I'll look after you and I'll comfort you so I thought that was such a great first moment type of bonding moment that he knew that he could come to me for comfort and it was funny because like I was the cause of his fear because I was the one who sneezed and that's what made him afraid and yet he still came to me to be held and to be comforted and I was like good boy good boy yes and like any other time when he's afraid he can always come to me for hugs um <laughs> which is really nice so yeah he does do that whenever he's afraid um yeah one time he uh the fan was going the ceiling fan and he jumped from the top of the fridge down and on the way um or, or either the other way he was jumping down um he was on something jumping up to the top of the fridge and either way he got hit by the fan thankfully he was fine he was he just got a big fright from it but he wasn't injured or anything um it wasn't going full ball or anything um, but he did get a fright from it and um, he sat in my lap for so long he's not a lap cat so it, it was significant that he was sitting in my lap for so so long and even when I thought oh you're ready to go yet he didn't he just stayed there and stayed there and stayed there and he went in his own time and yeah just that I love that he knows that he can stay with me when he's afraid
So if you would like to see the journaling part of this video where I share another cute Keanu story, head over to my Patreon and Special I'll thank you, you to Bye all guys. my beautiful patrons who supported in May. Thank you for allowing me to do this for another month. I hope you absolutely love being a patron and all the extra rewards you get over on my Patreon. You get access to extra videos and printables and personal updates, first access to my journals and much more. So if you'd like to become a patron in June, feel free to check out the link in the description box to my Patreon.